And that actually brings me to, I've talked about the Pre-Raphaelite Sisterhood as a general concept, kind of as defined by Jen Marsh. There's Lizzie's Pre-Raphaelite Sisterhood, the circle of women that was important in her life and in her development. My Pre-Raphaelite Sisterhood. My Pre-Raphaelite Sisterhood is a group of wonderful, wonderful people that I have met online over the last probably roughly eight or nine years. One of them I've already mentioned, Kirsty Walker. Um, she's the author of Stunner. She also has a blog called The Kiss Mouth, which is at fannycornforth.blogspot.com. Please read the description, go to the links, check out the wonderful things that these people post. It's not just about Fanny, it's about, it's not even just about the Paraphilites, it's this whole, it's just meandering, wonderful, very, often very sassy trip through art history that is just always a delight to read. The next person I have to mention, of, Steph of course, is Stephanie Pena, who runs lizziesiddle.com and also preraphaelitesisterhood.com. And you see, this is the shirt for the Preraphaelite Sisterhood, Lizzie at her easel. It's by Gabriel Rossetti. And she, I will put a link to these. You can get buy them directly from Stephanie. Her dedication to, to Lizzie and to all of the wonderful friendships that we make online. She's a wonderful person um, and again writes just the most amazing things on both blogs. Uh, Pre-Raphaelite Sisterhood also has a Facebook page and there's a great thriving community there so check that out. Grace Newth, actually she's the one person I will be able to link you to her YouTube channel. Her absolutely amazing uh, she did in her dining room a mural of the 12 dancing princesses, which is also one of my favorite fairy tales. And uh, it's just, she gives you a little tour of that. It took her, I think, two years to complete. It's beautiful. And Grace has a couple of different blogs. One is called Domithic, I think it's Domithic Bliss. And it's all about um, mythic and sort of fairy tale influenced decorating. And then there is The Beautiful Necessity, which is how I first ran into her, um, that she talks about Pre-Raphaelite influences. Rain Shramsky, she's an illustrator and she does these absolutely delightful, she calls them sketchbook cartoons, sporadically ongoing comic strip about the Pre-Raphaelite circle called Pre-Raphernalia that is just hilarious. It's so funny and it's just, and it's, you know, if you know anything about the personalities involved, it's you know, it's, it's kind of the spiritual uh, descendant of the little cartoons that they always used to draw of each other, which is what makes it so much fun. Verity Holloway has a very nice blog. She does some really cool posts on there, and she's another person who's just really fun to have, to have around and to talk to and, you know, to share this interest with. Uh, Dinah Rowe, she's incredibly knowledgeable about all of the poetry and the art and she her blog is called I think Pre-Raphaelites in the City. She's the author of The Rossettis in Wonderland which I'm about a third of the way through now and enjoying immensely and again just fun to hang out with on Twitter. She's always finding the most wonderful news items about um, lost artworks being discovered or things going for auction or what have you. Uh, Lucinda Hawksley, of course, is the author of Lizzie Siddle, um, which is variously subtitled Tragedy of, of a Pre-Raphaelite Supermodel or Face of the Pre-Raphaelites, depending on the edition and which side of the Atlantic you're on, but they're both the same book. They're both by Lucinda Hawksley, who, oh, who scared me to death, to be honest, the first time I came in contact with her because I was actually, this is three, four years ago, four years ago, talking about working on a one-woman show about Lizzie Siddle and I guess she looks for you know Lizzie Siddle at, as, as a search term to see what people are saying because of course she wrote the biography and so she tweeted to me that this sounds interesting tell me more I'm like holy crap <laughs> the author of you know only one of my favorite books of you know of, of really the primary source for what I know about Lizzie's life which made it a million times easier because I had made several abortive attempts to start writing this years ago before her book ever came out and didn't really get anywhere and so really that book is one of the keys to my even being able to write Unvarnished at all and she's also just the nicest person um, I have had a chance to meet up with her a couple of times once when I was in London once when she was here in Chicago 
and she's just always, you know, the most interesting person to talk to. She knows all sorts of Victorian things and is very well traveled and just is a delightful person to interact with. Oh, about Stephanie, I forgot to say, she also started Wombat Friday. This is Lady McWombat. Lady McWombat has adventures on Wombat Friday, and this is a thing that Stephanie started, and I will definitely put a link to what it's about there. Anybody with a toy wombat and a camera and a Twitter account can play. And some people have gotten very elaborate with it. There's a lady um, named Cheryl, who is the lead singer of a band called Dream Child, who creates every week these wonderful, elaborate, you know, tableaus that are recreations of paintings or, you know, she has several wombats getting into all sorts of trouble and it's just delightful to see. And hers, hers are generally posted on Facebook. Um, so check out the Wombat Friday hashtag every Friday. It's so much fun. It is complete ridiculousness, but it also, it's just a great icebreaker to find more people who are interested in this art and in these people. Um, I'm sure I've probably left people out. And I'm very sorry if you're one of them. You are all wonderful. I am so, so grateful to have you all. I will see you on PrairieAfterlightSisterhood.com. I will see you on Twitter. If you're interested in the Prairieafterlights, if you're interested in Lizzie, and you don't know who any of these people are that I've just mentioned, please come up on Twitter, say hi to us. Play, play in Wombat Friday, comment on Wombat Friday, um, make comments on the Pre-Raphaelite Sisterhood, either the blog or the Facebook page, or any of the other people's blogs that I mentioned because they're well worth the read. Everyone is very friendly. Oh, of course, the Pre-Raphaelite Society. Uh, they have a Facebook group and they have an actual society that is absolutely well worth your membership every year. They come out three times a year with uh, a journal full of just the most wonderful articles and reviews and again just a great group of people to interact with and share the interests with and so that i guess is that about the pre-raphaelite sisterhood uh that's it for today see you next time Bye bye i owe her a tremendous grit of data grit of data too.